In this session, we'll explore a workflow to delineate the intersection between two surfaces. Now, before I get started, I want to give credit where credit is due. I recently watched a Civil 3D presentation given by a friend of mine named Simon Noyola Rivero. During his session, Simon was demonstrating the minimum distance between surfaces command. Some of the amazing things he showed became the inspiration for what I am going to show you right now. Let me also mention that Simon has a YouTube channel where he posts a ton of content, and I'll include a link to his channel in the description for this video. On my screen, I have a drawing that represents a property boundary. This property has a stream passing through it. Let's say I'd like to build on this property, and I'd like to ensure that I stay out of any areas that might flood. The first thing I'll do is bring in a firm map. Now I've already done that. I'm going to go over to the External References Manager. You can see the image right there. I'm going to right click on that and I'll choose Reload to bring that up on screen. If I zoom in, we can see the flood area right here. Note that this map is also showing us the base flood elevations. It's 660 right here, 661, 662. Let's center this on screen. Now this map gives me a good approximation of the flood plain. That being said, if I have a topo survey done on this lot, I can get an even sharper delineation of the flood area. Let's try that. We'll assume the topo survey's finished. I'm going to turn that on. Here on the Prospector tab, I'm going to right click on my EG surface. We'll go to Surface Properties, and I'll change this from No Display to Existing 1 Foot and 5 Foot Contours. Then I will select this to make it a little easier to see. Right here we have our surveyed topography. I'll press Escape to deselect. Next, I'd like to trace these base flood elevation areas. I've already done that. If we go to the Layers panel, I'll open the Layer Control, and if I push all the way to the top, I'm going to turn on this layer called Flood Elevations. And you can see that I have traced those base flood elevations as polylines. Note that I've made the polylines quite a bit longer than necessary. These polylines are also placed at elevation. For example, if I select this one, and go to the Properties palette. If I drag this down, we can see this is at elevation 659, the same elevation that we see here in the firm map. Once again, I'm going to zoom out. At this point, we'll turn the map off. Let's go back to the External References Manager. I'll right-click on the image and I'll choose Unload. I will then use these polylines to build a surface that represents the base flood elevation. Here on the Home tab in the Create Ground Data panel, I'll open the Surfaces menu and I'll choose Create Surface. I'm going to call this flood surface, and I'll keep the default style here of contours and triangles. Let's click OK. Then I will add these polylines as surface data. We'll do that by going to the Modify ribbon tab. I'd like to modify a surface. I'd like to add data. Let's add some break lines. Now which surface do I want to add those break lines to? Let me tap the space bar and I'll choose that flood surface we just created. I'll click OK. I'm going to keep the default settings here for the break lines. These are just straight segments. I'll click OK and then I will select each of these polylines, and I'll press Enter. At this point, I have created a triangulated surface that represents the base flood elevation. Now let's compare the surface against the surveyed topography for the site. I'm going to select that surface as well, and then we'll click to bring up the Object Viewer. In the Object Viewer, I'm going to click and hold, and we'll push this up so we can see it in 3D. I will then zoom in, Notice how we can see these two surfaces intersect. Let's use Civil 3D to trace this intersection. I'll start by closing the Object Viewer. I'll press Escape here to deselect, and let's zoom in. To trace the intersection, I'll visit the Analyze tab, and then I'll expand the Ground Data panel, and I'll choose Minimum Distance Between Surfaces. I will then select my Surveyed Topo, and then I will select my Base Flood Elevation Surface, and I'll press Enter twice. And before we look at this closer, let's hide the base flood elevation surface. We don't need to see that anymore. I'll do that by selecting it, and then in the Properties palette, we'll change its style to No Display. Let's zoom in, and right here we can see that Civil 3D has created a 3D polyline that represents the intersection between those two surfaces. This geometry now gives me an even better picture of the areas where I should avoid building on this property. Now in this case, I used the minimum distance between surfaces command as a way to help delineate a flood area. That being said, this tool can be used any time that you'd like to capture the intersection between two Civil 3D surfaces. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.